It's that day again! Monday morning good news! <sighs> okay, I'm pumped. There's lots of cool stories, lots of awesome things to share with you guys. Let's get started. The Olympics just happened in Brazil in Rio, and Rio built a ton of massive arenas. Thankfully, the architects were smart in planning how these arenas were built, and they're using nomadic architecture. Nomadic architecture means that the structures are built like puzzles, and the puzzles can be taken apart to build smaller other buildings. Pretty damn cool. Renita Smith is a school bus driver from Maryland, and now she's being praised as a heroine. See, it was just an average day for Renita when her school bus caught on fire. And by the way, there's 20 kids on the school bus. Taking care of 20 kids in a panic situation cannot be easy. Now this story could go two ways. One way, school bus burns, 20 kids are on the bus. This is the Good News Channel, that doesn't happen. She got all 20 of those students safely off the bus. And if that isn't heroic enough, she goes back onto the bus that is now up in black smoke to make sure that no kids fell down or passed out or are still on the bus. I've heard before that heroes are just everyday people. Renita is definitely one of those people. Now there's coal powered trains, diesel powered trains, electric trains. Now this one is hydrogen. If you didn't know, hydrogen is the H in H2O, which means out of the exhaust just is steam. The train will be released in 2018 and it can hold up to 300 passengers and travel about 500 miles. Pretty incredible for a machine of that power to produce zero emissions. You know, some stories seem too far-fetched to seem true, but this is a true situation that actually happened. I want you to picture this. It's a beautiful summer night in New York. You're in your friend's backyard, you guys are drinking wine, you're eating cheese, you're laughing, you're having a good time. When someone comes into the backyard with a gun. Friends celebrating in the backyard, guy approaches with a gun to rob all the friends. He asks for all of their money, and no one has any money. It was just by coincidence that no one actually had any money on them. They must have probably spent it on wine. The situation's escalating, emotions are rising, the gunman is getting upset, people don't have money, they start to yell at him, somebody's gonna get hurt. That is when one woman who probably had too much wine had the miraculous idea of offering the gunman a glass of wine. Immediately the emotions change on his face, from anger to calmness. He's not tense anymore, he actually puts the gun into his pocket and has a glass of wine. Sometimes compassion is much more powerful than aggression. The gunman sits with them, has a glass of wine, eats some cheese, tells everyone that he made a mistake coming there, asks for a hug, and then leaves. What? That is nuts! Can you imagine just hanging out with your friends, having a good time in summer? and you're drinking wine and eating cheese and a gunman comes and you think you're gonna die and then he wants a hug and then he leaves? Wild stuff going on in the world. Have you heard of a company called WASP? It stands for World's Advanced Saving Project. They wanna save the world. The company is using massive 3D printers to print houses for people who don't have houses. Inside these 3D printers is a mixture of clay and straw. And the printer is like pooping out the clay and straw into a structure that will be a house. And you can print an entire house for about $40. This company is so cool. They actually want to build a whole village this way in Italy. I'm adding this village to my bucket list. Mud Village made by 3D printers in Italy. I'm gonna put a link to this company in the description box so you guys can read more about them. They're doing a lot in the medical industry. They're just pretty phenomenal. This is Chris. Now on his 21st birthday, he got into a car accident and was unfortunately paralyzed from the neck down. Thanks to advanced stem cell research, he underwent a treatment with stem cells. 
Only two weeks after his surgery, he started to show signs of improvement. He could start using his arms. Arms and hands are pretty damn important. Fast forward a couple months and he can actually use his hands to use his cell phone, to type on the computer. He's gaining mobility. Science just blasted my mind. Do you realize how incredible this is? This reverses people being paralyzed. That is a wrap on this Monday Morning Good News episode. I'm curious to know what your favorite story or stories were in this episode. Comment below and let me know what stories you guys liked. Also in the future, let me know what stories you guys want to hear about. More science, more people, more space, more underwater. Let me know. I'll do the research and I'll bring you guys more good news that you want to hear. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't do it if you don't like good news. If you do like good news, make sure to subscribe. See you guys next week. Bye. Watley is a machine powered by solar energy and it turns dirty, nasty water into purified drinking water. 40 years ago, an American pilot and a Vietnamese pilot were against each other at war. The American actually shot down the Vietnamese pilot's plane. Luckily, he survived. 40 years later and they're actually meeting for the first time with forgiveness and friendship.